The Milken Institute Global Conference kicking off today in Beverly Hills. They've got a host of CEOs and industry experts gathering together, including our next guest, who has a great view of the consumer and the toy industry in particular. Enon Kreis is the chairman and CEO of Mattel. Enon, it's great to have you on the program. Welcome. Thank you for having me. You know, toys were a hot topic last week, especially after uh, what happened with your, your rival Hasbro there, Peppa Pig and Play-Doh and all the rest of it. Um, tell us what you think is going on in the, in the toy industry. Is it about hot products? Is it about uh, strong cons Is it about all the millennials uh, in household formation? I mean, what, what's happening here? Well, what we're seeing is strong demand for quality product and trusted brands. We've always said this is what's really driving the industry. We saw growth in consumer demand for our products in the first quarter, and we expect to see that through the rest of the year. And it's all driven by quality product, trusted brands, and this is where the fact that we own one of the strongest portfolios in the world in children and family entertainment is playing to our advantage. Year over year, though, your sales were down, if I'm reading correctly, and Barbie had a notably tough quarter, down 40 percent in sales. Uh, I know you're looking forward to the Barbie movie to give that a little juice. Tell me why sales were down as much as they were. Well, we were impacted by elevated retail inventory entering the year, but the underlying consumer demand was positive. In fact, consumer demand was double-digit ahead of gross billings. So you have to really look at the discrepancy between elevated inventory and the underlying performance. We expect that to be corrected by the end of the second quarter and to see growth for the full year in consumer demand for our product. Barbie was the number one doll property globally and number one doll property every single week uh, in the U.S. And of course, the Barbie movie will be an event. It will be an important event, not just for Barbie, uh, but we believe uh, through the film industry. And we expect that to be an exciting movie, uh, an expression of Barbie on the big screen, and we could not be more excited about uh, how this film will be uh, unfolding and what it really means for Barbie, not just for this quarter or this year, but in terms of how we manage the franchise going forward. I'm, I joked, Enon, about your competitor uh, a moment ago, but are you guys actually colleagues? I mean, I look at a couple of the deals being struck. Speaking of the Barbie movie, you're going to have, you are going to be uh, helping them with some Monopoly games starting this fall. You will be working together on Hot Wheels and, and UNO. T talk to us about that. Is, is consolidation uh, at hand here? Well, this is a, a cross-licensing uh, agreement between our companies. It is the first one that we've done, but it's targeted around uh, Barbie with Monopoly and Transformers around Hot Wheels and Uno. It's a win-win for both company, companies, but the real, the real winner uh, uh, is the consumer that will enjoy and have more ways to engage with the favorite uh, brands, especially around a busy summer period with, with both Barbie and Transformers having big theatrical releases. I think it's wonderful that two uh, rivals uh, and competitors such as you, yourselves and, and Hasbro, somebody said, play nice, and you did. I think that's very nice. I think that's very good. Tell me a little bit about inflation, and I'm thinking here about materials inflation or supply chain inflation. How has that impacted your business, and have you been able, if there are cost increases, to pass on those cost increases to consumers in the form of price increases? Yeah, we saw significant inflation over the last few years. In 2023, we expect inflation to moderate. Uh, we already implemented price increases last year. We haven't announced any price increases this year, and we don't expect, expect to uh, uh, increase prices at this point. Uh, inflation is moderating, especially in input costs and, and, and shipping. Wage is still uh, an inflationary factor, but all in all, we expect inflation to moderate in 2023. Enon, we thank you for being with us today, and, I, and, and we really appreciate your uh, fighting through the noise there in the background. It's not easy to do what you just did and stay focused. We appreciate it. Enon Kreitz of Mattel.